Good evening. Dr. Vicki here. This is Wednesday, April 3rd, about 6.30 p.m., week one of BIN 650, Business Intelligence Leadership and Communication Skills. Um, you ready to take this journey with me? Let's go. When you first look at your FSO Full Sail Online screen, this is what you see. Let's go over my particular setup. Some of it may be familiar and some of it may not. On the Start Here button, you have some very important items. Under the Welcome, you have about the course, what the course is going to cover, the course introduction video, which we're using the textbook Leadership Challenges of Kuzas and Posner. This video here is a very short video, 2 minutes and 54 seconds, but it's the best possible introduction of this course, and it's actually produced by the publishers of the book. There's the Meet Me video. Some of you have already seen that, and the infographic, my office hours, my full cell email, and my Gmail. Right here, 352-571-0432 is my cell phone. So if you ever need me, call or text. If you need to send me something via email or there's something you want me to look at, by all means, text me so that I know to go look at that for you. And please, please try to check your full cell email and announcements at least once daily. The short nature of this course, if I need to communicate something with you or have you correct something on an assignment in time to earn possible mixed points back, um, I want you to be able to get that opportunity. And as always, there's the full cell policies and links to them. There's the course syllabus and the course at a glance. The one thing different about this particular course is the digital campus where you will register to get the movies for all four weeks that we will be using to assess the leadership characteristics. Week one is Pay It Forward. Week two, Invictus. Week three, Freedom Riders. Week four, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Each of these four movies display certain leadership traits relevant to the textbook. And we use Full Sail Swank Digital Campus so that um, you're able to download and watch the videos whenever you need to and whenever you have the time. So please make sure that you're able to access the digital campus and get to the movies. If you wait to the last minute, you may have trouble accessing it and you may have trouble getting a hold of someone to help you out with that. Please let me know if you have any questions. The register for GoTo training. We have them every week. Please notice that um, we do have a policy in BIMS now that if you register for GoTo training, like tonight, and something occurs that you cannot attend, which happens, life happens, I totally understand that. Please, please advise me that you're not going to be attending because what happens is once I have students registered, it activates, like it says here, my commitment to block the time, prepare, and be ready to attend. And so if students register and don't show without cause notification, it sort of disregards my time and commitment. So please let me know going forward if you register and unable to attend because I make myself available and carve out the time and then I end up sitting here and no one shows up. It's a, it's a little bit frustrating for the instructors and it's not beneficial for the students. So register, please attend. If you need to meet with me at another time, let me know. But don't register and then not show up and not let me know. There's always going to be the archive videos here. You're familiar with the um, GPS, Global Professionalism. Part of that is going to be, going forward, attending the, G the go to trainings when you sign up for them or notifying us when you don't. So please, please pay close attention to that. Also, provide continue to provide supplemental resources for my students. Um, most students have had me in a course before now, so they're well aware of my requirement for strict APA formatting. So I have resources here for APA formatting help, grammar and punctuation checker tools, and APA formatting tools. This says um, a picture right here of what a APA paper should look like. And the example is right here that you can download and use as a template. You're getting awful close now to your final capstone project. And um, I'd hate for you to have to spend an inordinate amount of time just making sure your formatting is correct. So Let's make sure we stay on that. I have tools for data visualization, data collection, data scraping, and data cleaning. Don't know which one of those you may or may not need, but going into your capstone, they're there for you. 
Again, I have my watercolor forum where we can have discussions if you so choose about anything that you have on your mind. So let's look at week one. Week one, the first thing on here is my capstone project survey. The particular reason for this is when you start with me in month eight and then back with me in month 10, your next step is case studies and capstone. Um, this survey is to make sure that you're heading in the right direction and to help you prepare and guide you in the right direction for your upcoming capstone project that's due early in the second week of month 12. So this gets you thinking about it and gives you time to get guidance from me and the other instructors on fine tuning your capstone. So please answer these questions and answer them to the best of your ability, which it allows us to then turn around and provide you some guidance. So please take this short five question capstone project survey to allow us the opportunity to provide you some guidance. Topic one is fundamentals of exemplary leadership. There's the course one deliverables. The discussion initial post on model the way is due tonight, Wednesday, April 3rd. You will post uh, your responses to the questions directly in the discussion board and upload a APA paper with the same questions answered in APA formatting. On Sunday, you'll do your response post to the same movie in the same manner using the RISE method. And on Sunday, you will also create your week one assignment dream sheet. Week one's overview video, of five minutes and 59 seconds. We'll discuss everything that's due this week. The textbook readings are chapter one, two, and three in the Kuzner's and Posner book. I have a couple of very short supplemental videos here from movies that show you some of the leadership characteristics of Model the Way. And let's look at the discussion. Real world leaders model the way. That's week one discussion on the movie. What you will do is you will watch the movie and you'll make two posts. What you will do is you will answer each question. Each question will be under a heading in APA formatting. You will watch it and talk about the scene descriptions and then answer the questions. What examples of model the way do you see in the opening scene? What do you notice about Mr. Simonette's answer to Trevor's question? So you will answer these questions in full sentences, APA format, post it directly in the discussion board, which does not maintain your formatting, and upload your paper. And then you will provide feedback to at least one student in the RISE method. Grading, first post is always worth 70% of the discussion board grade, and the second post is worth 30 um, and there's the rubric. If you have any questions, please let me know. Students tend to really enjoy these movies assignments. The assignment is a leadership skills self-assessment. You will take the self-assessment, which is accessed at this link right here. It's a very short little survey, and it will provide you an interpretation of your survey results. And then you will save the results in a PDF file by selecting the print to PDF option in the menu and upload your assessment. I'm not grading you on that. It's just to, you won't be able to complete the next assignment if you do not have this. It's, this is ungraded, but it's just needed for assignment four, leadership skills dream sheet. This activity will help you think about what vision you need to have for yourself as a leader. I'm asking you as a student leader, think about how you define a vision for yourselves, not how you define a vision for a group. So I have some resources here, crash course it's a very good handout for later. It's always a good resource on creating infographics. And you will, using the assessment that you took in assignment one, three, you will be making a dream sheet that exhibits in visualization what answers this overarching question. What would I look like as an effective leader? What would you look like as an effective leader? How would you describe what that would look like? Following with the seven remaining questions, to begin living my dream, I have to experience, I have to learn, I have to sacrifice, I have to risk. You would fill in the blanks for you, but do not use the text. Use visualizations in the infographic to answer that. Use very limited text. 
Again, this is about visualizing and communicating information in the best possible way and best practices. You will use easily, which I, there's a group created just for this class. You click on here and it'll take you there. It's a free account. You log on with your official student email. Use only the free options and use that password. You will create your infographic effectively displaying the eight dreams. Use primarily visuals to illustrate your dreams and keep your text very limited. Do a screenshot of the image and provide a link, a web link to the infographic and easily. Feel free to make a video recording of your infographic if you would like, where you narrate the visual dream sheet. A lot of students do that and that teaches you how to communicate what you're presenting to an audience. Make your dream sheet, visualize it, show the dream sheet while you're narrating it. Try that out. You have to do that for the capstone, so that might be good. If you do that, upload the video as an MP4 or a link to your YouTube video. Okay, that's all for week one. I hope this answered your questions. And again, if you're not going to be able to attend upcoming go-to trainings, please let me know and please cancel so that I don't make myself ready and set aside time and materials and resources. If you have any questions, let me know. Let's have a great week. Go create something.